I'm, I'm aware that this might be us getting a little bit ahead of ourselves, but we're already looking at how many goals he might get this season. So mm -hmm. this shows you, since the, the Premier League has been around, the players in English football who've scored the most number of goals in all competitions. And you can see there, like, goals per game. I mean, he's got a long way to go, but 1.5 goals per game is an incredible goal-scoring record. The question is, is he a guy that can keep it up? I think he can keep up the ratio. I just don't know if he's going to get the games because, like I've said numerous times, when it comes to the second half of the season and the league potentially is not as important due to being wrapped up and there's semi-finals of Champions League, he may be rested for them games. We've seen today he came off after 60 minutes. Yeah, he's not going to score a hat-trick in every hour of every game, but he came off on two goals. Does he score more if he stays on? 100% but Pep's thinking the next game, this game's done. I think one thing he's got in his favour is the World Cup. Yeah. Like he's not going to the World Cup, I don't think, is he? He's Correct, country, his country didn't qualify. So he's going to, in his mind, I think he'll be thinking, go, coming out of the World Cup, I'm rested. I surely have to play more minutes. And I've got a better opportunity now of getting more opportunities and goals. I, I would say that would be definitely one thing in his favour, getting to them numbers we're talking about. It's 40, I mean, it's 40 plus, isn't it? It's as it stands, 12, 12 first week of September. It's, it's, it has to be 40 plus. Okay. Rio doesn't think so. Let's, <laughs> let's do something that uh, football fans can replay time and time again in about seven months. How many goals this season for Erling Haaland? I reckon he gets 41. Okay. That's very specific. Yeah. 40s. <laughs> 40s? Mid 40s. 49 or 41? I'm going to say early 40s. Yeah, 45, I think. 44, 45. So he takes the record then, goes over it. the... Yeah. That's the record. In all comps, we mean, yeah? Yeah, in all yeah. comps. Yeah. Yeah. I think he breaks the Prem 1 and I think he, yeah, I think he gets 44. He breaks, 45. so plus 35 in the Premier League. He, I think he's, he's getting 30 plus. I think, yeah, I think he gets 30 plus Premier League. Oh. Wow. OK, right, let's get some reaction from this evening. Here is uh, Kevin De Bruyne and Amanda Manu's debut tonight, Manuel and Kanji. They're both talking to Jules. Kevin, Manuel, congratulations. First Champions League game, first win. You must be happy with that, Kevin. Well, obviously, uh, it's, it's a very nice stadium to come to. The crowd is on it, but obviously, first away game is very important. You know, you have to set a tone, and I think uh, we did that today. So, obviously, I think a good performance, a good victory, and uh, it's nice to, to start it. Manuel, a clean sheet on your debut for Manchester City. How much did you enjoy it out there? Uh, a lot. Um, it's my first game here. Um, the guys supported me really well, so they made it pretty easy for me. I'm um, happy for that. Um, it was an intense away game, but uh, I'm happy we could have kept a clean sheet and obviously the three points. Has it helped you settle in as well, having your former Dortmund teammate Erling Haaland in the squad? Yeah, of course. He texted me um, bef before I came here. And he, yeah, obviously, when Manchester City calls you, I didn't have to think twice. And he only told me good things uh, about this club. And yeah, I'm happy I made the decision and the club wanted me. Goal, Haaland, assist, Kevin De Bruyne. That's something we've heard already three times this season. Once tonight, of course. How many more times are we going to hear that, Kevin? I don't, I don't know. You know, I, I try to, to do my job and, you know, right, make the right movements and try to create as many chances as I can and I know uh, one way or another Erling is going to be there and yeah for the moment uh, he's scoring the goals so obviously it helps us win games and uh, it's it's pretty good I think for him it's, it's a perfect start. Does it make it easier for you knowing that he's nine times out of ten going to be in the box ready to score? Um, sometimes obviously I think the way he adapted to, to us is, is, is really good but I think obviously uh, outside the goal scoring there's still another part in, in the game and I think that part is maybe more tough to, to adapt to but makes it more exciting that the, you know if he can adjust to the way we play that then the level's going to go up and that's what we demand for him but obviously if you score that much you can get away with a little bit more but I think he knows and we know we can still do better. Um, but that's only positive, obviously. Well played, both of those men this evening. Look, he's a player that arrives with pedigree and experience, Manuel Akanji, but it's still a debut for a new club in the Champions League. Uh, what did you make of it? I thought he was very, very confident. Um, it, it shows that he's had lots of experience at this level at his previous clubs. Um, and coming in, I think it's an astute signing from Pep Guardiola. A man of his experience in the Champions League, in a, in a good footballing league, who's played particularly well for that. He's played international football as well. 
and it didn't surprise me that he comes in and it looks like fits like a glove, not a problem. And he'll be called upon many yeah. times this season, I'm sure, and I'm sure he'll produce performances like that. Well, we spoke about it. As if defenders, when they come into these situations, you don't want to be name-checked yeah. all the time. You want to yeah. go through the game with just smooth without being called, and, and, and he done that today very well. 100% echo everything we have said. I think if he's coming to a game and he looks comfortable, he looks like he, he understands the system, but didn't mention his name, didn't make any wrong decisions. He was in the right place at the right time. And they're the kind of performances you want as a centre-half. You don't want to have to be making last-ditch tackles all the time. If you can get through the game and just be comfortable in your surroundings, then he looks like he's a great signing. Congratulations. Thank was you. that the perfect start? Yeah, in terms of Rosal, yeah. We make a not good first half in terms of we want to attack too quick. And when they were... Playing better, we scored the second one with a brilliant action from Phil and after it was easier. What pleased you most about the performance in the second half then? We we had we gave more passes. We sometimes we want to rise so so quick. Because Erling is there, and, uh, you have the, this attraction about him. Of him, we wanna attack it sometimes we have to make more pause. Does that sometimes cause a problem then, now having Erling Haaland there no. and always being the focus? I didn't say that. I prefer to have him, <laughs> absolutely. Well, Kevin De Bruyne was man of the match out there today. What impressed you most about his controlled performance? Was that the key to, to the game being won? Yeah, uh, you know, the first goal, his quality in this action and the, his final third. So, yeah, uh, he did a good, a good game and happy for, of course, for him, for everyone. Two more goals for Erling Haaland tonight. He continues to score goals. We know it. he makes it look so simple, but it's not that easy. So how hard is he working to achieve these levels? I don't know. We, we, I think his numbers in all his career, not just here, when he was in, uh, in previous teams, is quite similar. So he's having an incredible sense of goal. He scored two, and in the centre have two or three more to score. And, uh, yeah, we have uh, incredible numbers in the scoring goals. So... And yeah, continue like that. So another battle next Saturday against Tottenham and hopefully he can continue scoring goals. And Phil Foden scoring again in the, the Champions final, yeah. League. How, how much does he continue to impress you? Phil have an incredible thing, I would say, that is the fact Lily is not playing so good like normally him, but always do a job and always run and always fight and always is, is a stable, you know, for the team. And I'm pretty sure today the goal and the assist he has done is going to help him. Phil can play in a position, he's dynamic and his work ethic and we have to learn a lot. So you can play bad because he's a human being, and, but never, never, never can avoid to do what Phil every single game can do it. And that's why he deserves to play. And a clean sheet too tonight. How yeah. did you assess Akanji's debut at the back? Oh, it was really good. So he trained, I think... One day a half, two days, no more than that. But uh, we knew it is so strong, intelligent with the ball. And uh, I said yesterday, so Man City brought me, brought the club and a fantastic play. And we are very pleased for the performance. And uh, uh, I think it's the perfect age, 27 years old, he's mature, play a lot of times, Champions League games with uh, BVB and Dortmund. So, yeah, really good. Congratulations, Pep. Thank you. Again. It's always interesting to hear Pep Guardiola's take on a game of football. And you come into this with City on the kind of form they're in, scoring four goals this evening. The first thing that he tells us is sometimes my players rush too much with Haaland in the team because they're so desperate to sort of service him and look after him. A very interesting there as well on Phil Foden, wasn't he? Oh, yeah, he's a, he's a perfectionist. and You don't have this much success if you're not. But in regards to his, his view on how he analyses the game, it's very unique to him. And he's, he wants it to be a certain way. And... Yeah, he's a massive fan of Phil Foden, like, like I am and like most of us are here. So, in regards to what he expects, um, but he appreciates the, the work ethic that he puts in every game. And it, what's interesting about that is he gets the best out of Phil Foden by giving him you know, psychological safety. So, he says, Do you know what, you can make mistakes. You can never not try, but you can make mistakes. And once you allow a player to make mistakes, often that is where you, you do get the best out of them. And, that's I, I think that's what he's like with all the players. I think you, you get a sense that people are allowed to try to do things within the system and the structure of his team. He sets the team up to play a particular way. He wants you to play a particular way, but then he wants you to have imagination as well and to work out situations and problems within games. And he's got some fantastic players who have, more importantly, fantastic brains within this team. Because you see sometimes there are times when they've got unpicked defences who sit in low, low blocks. 
that it's not just all about the training ground then or what the manager said it's about individuals being able to create something and again we keep going back to Haaland but he's given these these brilliant brains behind him now new pictures new solutions new outcomes so it's a, it's, a, it's a wonderful place for them to be but they've got obviously continuous it's the start of the season so no one wants to get too carried away like we're doing at the moment which is understandable no one wants to but we will but you do because it's a goal scorer and that's what you love to see you want to see goals and the hardest thing to do is to put the ball in the back of the net as we all know